Kageyama and Hinata's relationship has been one of the key pillars of the story. The first half before the time skip had them playing together and as their relationship evolved, so did their strengths. They have always checked each other and pulled up one another when needed. I feel this dynamic was one of the key factors for Karasuno's strengths. However, they were also each other's number one rivals. Their relationship started out on the basis of competition and it pretty much remained that way throughout the story. Now that we are in the post time skip where both of the players have made it into the top professional volleyball teams, they once again have the opportunity to face one another. Now, why am I talking about all of this? This chapter was about Kageyama's past and how he got into volleyball. What has this got to do with his relationship with Hinata? Here's the thing, I think this chapter pretty much solidified the permanency of his friendship and rivalry with Hinata. Let's see how by starting at the very beginning. The chapter began with the Bokuto spike that got the Black Jackals the first set. And of course the ball was set by Hinata last chapter, which he did splendidly by shifting his form mid-air from spiking to setting the ball. That took everyone by surprise and it shocked Kageyama so much that the dude went on to have an entire chapter long flashback. <laughs> Yo, just kidding. We see an infant Kageyama making the heck out with volleyball and his grandpa and sister freaking out about it. I liked how even as a tiny toddler, he still had that intensity around him. This was a nice little gag here. Then we see a montage of Kageyama slowly growing up while hanging out on the court with his grandpa who was also a volleyball coach. Kageyama was always playing and touching the volleyball. Then when one day his grandpa asked him why did he love hanging out in the gym, he answered that he loved the color and the smell of the gym. I thought this was a pretty on the spot and very clear answer. There is definitely a different vibe around sports complexes and Kageyama felt that. I guess he was destined to be a great athlete from the start. We get even more panels where he is exercising and practicing the sport with his sister and his grandpa. And he seemed very into volleyball as he did not even focus on having any portable video game devices like the other kids of his age did. Then one day his sister said that she is not gonna play volleyball anymore because she did not want to cut her hair. I liked how the grandpa reacted to her having a boyfriend. It was funny. In the following panels, we see Kageyama practicing alone with his grandpa. Apparently, he was also getting really fit very young as he could outrun his grandpa up a hill at that age. And through some coincidence, Kageyama and his grandpa were watching the finals between the Adlers and the Black Jacklers from the V-League 2003-2004 when his grandpa asked him what position did he want to play. Kageyama then said that he wanted to play a position where he gets to touch the ball the most and that was the position of a setter. I liked how his grandpa smiled at the answer. Then the kid Tobio went on to see a match of the Adlers in the Sendai City gym. It's safe to say that he was completely awestruck watching it. Coming back he said that he wanted to practice more when his grandpa told him that he was going to teach him something even more important thing and that was self-management. I guess this is where Kageyama gets his habit of journaling his volleyball experiences and maintaining himself for the sport. Kageyama then gets recruited into a team called the Little Falcons and it was clear that he was way too good for his age. There were people commenting that he could compete with the middle schoolers. He was scoring points via the service aces and the score was 20 to 12 in set 2. The next time we see him serve, he just did a normal serve and his grandpa noticed him do that. When he asked why did he do that, he simply answered that he wanted to play a little longer on the court and the match would have been over soon if he scored the points quickly via the service aces. Then his wise grandpa teaches him that if he gets stronger, he can keep playing volleyball and as he keeps getting stronger, he will definitely Oops, I mean definitely meet someone stronger than him as his opponent. This was something he took to heart as we saw him enter the Kitagawa Middle School and telling about his experiences to his grandpa who is now in a hospital. He was talking about a certain someone who was good at jump serves and tossing but would not teach him. Then his grandpa tells him that despite them being on the same team, they are also rivals. Then we see Kageyama training hard and trying to keep up with Oekawa and Iwa Izumi. We also saw him having testy relationships with Kendaichi and Kumini. With Oekawa and Iwa Izumi now gone, he was easily the most passionate and the most fit player in the bunch now. The following panel we see him practicing alone in front of the house. Then we see him and his sister paying their respects to the grandpa 
who had passed on. Right about this time, some ninja started cutting onions in my room. I tried to find him, but I couldn't. The life of Kageya must subsequently got lonely and lonelier. There was no one to wash the matches with him in his home. There was no one to practice with in his school gymnasium, and there was no one even during the official matches anymore. We see him getting rejected from the Shira Torizawa Academy soon after. And then the following panel, we see the back of Hinata as the grandpa's words linger in the background that if Kagama gets stronger, someone who is even stronger than him will appear. Hinata turns around and we see Kagama smiling genuinely. The chapter ends with the picture of his grandpa smiling. As I said in my introduction that this chapter illustrated why Kagama's relationship with Hinata was much deeper than perhaps we thought before. Hinata filled a void in Kagama's life that happened because of his grandpa passing away and his teammates rejecting him. Hinata acknowledged and accepted him for what Kagama really was. It is obvious that Hinata needed Kagama to be on Karasuno's team during the freshman year in school, but it is equally important that we realize that Kagama also needed Hinata to help him grow. The two needed each other to compete against and pull one another up during the times of need. As these two now venture out into the world of professional volleyball, I keep thinking how will they affect one another. This is it for this video, a very special chapter. I'll try to find and report back if I find any ninjas. Till then, I am Big Doc and I will see you later. You guys take care. See ya.